Hi guys, welcome back to my March something new video. I have been putting off this video for a while. Um, as I said in the last something new video, sorry, my dad's just texting in, I got completely distracted. Um, I wanted to film a makeup video. It's something that I've thought about filming for a while. A lot, a lot, a lot. I watch a lot, that's what I was trying to say, of makeup videos. So I was kind of like, it's something I'd like to make, but I've always put it off for fear of what people might think or if people might judge me by the way I do my makeup. But as it's something new, as I'm trying to do things that I wouldn't usually do, we're going to do it. Um, I'm filming on my phone camera and I'm using the window for light as per usual. So I'm sorry if the lighting changes. I'm going to keep looking at the screen to keep an eye on it. So also my glance will be off. I'll always be looking at the screen and not the camera. Um, and yeah, sorry for my nasally voice. But if I didn't film this today, I would just keep putting it off. So let's do this. Let's do it. Let's do it. Yeah, makeup. Yeah. Okay, let's get started, shall we? Um, the idea behind this video is that I don't wear a lot of makeup. I don't wear makeup day to day. I wear like eyebrows, mascara, and eyeshadow day to day, but I don't do my full face. So my makeup routine is very basic. I also don't like spending a lot of money on makeup. So therefore all of my products, the products that I use are um, from Superdrug, Boots, are really like low priced, products I think most of them are probably under five pounds but definitely under ten majority of them um so I'm going to try and name all of the products and make sure I leave their name and their price on the video so that you guys can kind of see what's what because I just I watch so many makeup videos that are just like really high-end products that are ridiculously expensive and fancy brushes and fancy like little I don't know, but I'm, it's very basic what I do. I'm gonna stop waffling and stalling. Let's get on with the video, let's get on with it. So the first thing I use, I don't think my camera's gonna do very good with focusing, because it's on the front camera, but um, it's the Flawless Color Correction Primer from Barry M. Reasonably priced, good word, reasonably priced, good quality. I use the colour correcting one purely because I have some redness and I also have spots so it's the best one for me um, but they do different types of primer. Again I really like using this and it's reasonably priced so I'm just gonna put that all over my face. Um, I don't know how you can like review a primer but this is really lightweight and it just makes me feel like I've got that layer of protection over my skin before I start putting a crap ton of makeup on it. Um, please don't judge me, by the way, I apply any of my makeup because I am aware there's probably, oh, just some of it just went in my eye. There's probably ways you're supposed to do it properly and I probably don't do them, do that, do it in that way. Whew. You can tell I'm nervous. I'm more like rambly and not, not talking straight. Do I ever talk normally? Okay, uh, the next thing I use is the Lasting Perfection Collection Concealer, which is the 16 hour wear. This is a staple thing in my makeup box. I've been using this for a long time. There's a lot of beauty gurus that use stuff like Urban Decay, that's, that's a high end brand, and stuff like that, that will still use the collection Long Lasting Concealer. It is really nice, it's really good. If you use too much of it, it can go slightly orange, but that's just because it's a cheaper brand and it's um, in the light tone I use fair. It is not going to focus on that um, because I am very fair skinned. Um, but yeah, I really like this, so I'll just use it under my eyes. It, it does okay with covering spots. Um, in fact, I'll try and come a bit closer so you can actually see the state of my skin because... I don't feel like getting, oh, there's a little bit of Oreo around my mouth. <laughs> That's a bit embarrassing. But yeah, I don't have the best skin. Um, and when I'm doing makeup, actually, I don't expect my spots to be covered. <laughs> I'm just going to go out like this. Um, 
I don't expect my spots to be completely covered because it's just my skin that's just the way it is and um, you know what like if I want to really cover my spots then I'm gonna have to spend a lot of money on makeup I just can't bother for that like you know what my skin's my skin it is what it is I look after it as much as I can I drink plenty of water I have a solid skincare routine which I put up a video about ages ago and my skincare routine is still the same to this day um it's just the way my skin is it's just life unfortunately so one thing I did learn was that you're supposed to dab with a brush and not like sweep because then you're just pushing it across your face rather than actually blending it in and it's like bad for your skin or something um I'm using a unicorn brush that my friend brought me because you know I'm cool and um it's just a brush it's just a brush that I like I don't have like specific brushes for specific things. I literally just use a brush and stick to that brush for it. I know there's like specific brushes you can get for concealer and whatever, but I don't use them. Okay, now on to foundation. I usually use the Rimmel London Match Perfection foundation, that's the word, liquid foundation in ivory. I really like this. Um, it blends pretty well, covers well yada yada I actually tried this which is I brought it for a show which is why it's in a slightly darker shade because with the show lights your face words yeah you you it can wash out your face there you go um so I brought it in a slightly darker shade but this is the same one as the concealer and I do like it, it does give you good coverage however it comes out quite orange so I'm actually going to use the Rimmel London one for this video which I just threw on the floor Um, the problem with buying cheaper makeup particularly if you've got paler skin is that it does tend to come out a little bit orange sometimes that's just that's just perks of having pale skin and this lighting is awful you can't actually see what's going on because it's washing me out let's get closer to the camera um, da, 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 da. um as you can see i use a very professional method to apply my makeup this is a foundation brush from wilco's because as i said i budget um bargain and budget in me um and i simply blot it around my face until it's kind of blended uh i don't use a lot of foundation because I don't see the need for it. These both give really good coverage, like both these products give really good coverage um, without you having to use too much, which is why I don't mind that they come out a little bit orange because I'm not using that much of it. So it only comes out orange if you're using a lot of it. But because I'm not, because it gives that whoa, because it um, gives good coverage, I don't have to use a lot and therefore I don't get the problem with the orangeness as much. I just make sure it's properly blended. Okay, I'm going to speed over this part because it's a bit boring watching me do this to my face. I'm now using my, uh, this is probably like the most expensive brush I bought. It's a blending brush. It's from, I don't actually know what the brand's called, but it's B. In actually, it's in Superdrug as well. It, I think it's just called B. I'll see if I can find it and link it. Um, I brought this because I don't like beauty blenders. I just find them effort. And this was a blending brush, and I was like, might as well try a blending brush over a sponge blender. Um, and I like it. It does virtually the same job as a beauty blender, but in brush form. It works really well for my foundation. Um, I think beauty blenders are really good for like concealer and stuff but I just oh, there's so much effort to clean and they just hold so much like makeup in them I just don't like using them and I like using them next we're gonna go on to la eyeshadow um, I'm gonna start with using my focus and fix revolution eye primer I brought this recently <coughs> excuse me 
I brought this recently because I wear eyeshadow to work and where I work because in a fast food restaurant like I'm running around so I sweat and yada yada so it, my eye makeup tends to smudge um, and I brought this to try and help prevent that and it really does like obviously I work in a fast food restaurant so it doesn't work miracles like it is put to the test at work but I've worn it on nights out I've used it for like a night out and I've used it for work as well and it does really help to kind of keep my eyeshadow from smudging and from um, just kind of yeah just smudging basically so yeah literally just put that on my eyelids there is no method to that um, and I'm going to use my Freedom palette. This is kind of my go-to palette. I realised you probably couldn't hear what I said then because I put the palette in front of my mouth. It is the Freedom Pro Decadence palette, Today's Tonight. I didn't realise it had a name. Um, I'll see if I can find this and link the price below because it was gifted to me by my friend. Um, this is my go-to simply because it's got all like the basic nude colours with a few like pinks and purples which are really basic and simple good for work I and mean, it has a massive mirror in it which I like. I'm going to attempt to do the whole like darker crease lighter like than glitter. I always attempt to do it. It never... it sometimes works out really nice, sometimes doesn't. I'm not that great at it but I just kind of go for it anyway because I do think it creates a really nice effect. So I just use a darker brown in the crease. Please be aware, I am not a makeup artist. Um, like so. And I'm gonna let it look awful and dodgy for now because I'm gonna blend it in a bit. I'm using this color, by the way. Oh, whoa, where, where did the color go? That color. I don't know what the color's called because it doesn't have names. It's just a dark brown, okay. Again, I'm gonna make let it look awful for now because I've got to blend in all the other colours. For that, I use a, a slightly thinner eyeshadow brush again from Wilco's. And then I'm gonna use this eyeshadow brush, which is from Boots. Again, a cheapo like set that was brought together. I'm going to use a slightly lighter brown here and just put that all across my eyelid. Like so. I do like a bit of glitter but sometimes if I'm doing like glitter highlight and glitter eyeshadow it just is a bit too much especially for work. So this is another like pack of makeup brushy 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 brushies brushes uh, eyeshadow brush and it's really big and fluffy I have no idea where this is from because uh, my mum bought it me for Christmas so I'm just going to use it to blend the darker and the lighter tone in together now I'm going to be a criminal and I'm going to go back to the thinner brush that I was using and to get rid of the dark colour that I do I just wipe it on my eyeshadow palette box because I'm not a professional at this I don't know what I'm doing um, and then I'm going to use a shinier, a sh like a shinier, a shinier, a shiny white to so just go in the crease. Can you see that? There's a reflection on my screen so I can't actually see what you can see. Which is not helping matters. Voila, we're done. Um, that's about it. That is what I do for my eyeshadow. As you can see, I've attempted to cut crease, or whatever you like to call it. Kind of works. Kind of doesn't. Kind of look like I've been punched in the eye. But I like it. Uh, bit, bit, bit. This palette, good, cheap. I like it. It does kind of have a tendency to smudge and not stay, which is why I use it with the primer. Um, if you're using it on your own, it can kind of just disappear during the day. But if you want it for day wear, get an eye primer. It is worth it rather than buying like a stupidly expensive makeup palette. Next, I would usually do Alana, which I use this, oh, it's upside down, the Extreme 24 Hour Felt Tip 
uh, eyeliner pen from collection. I don't even know how long I've had this. That shows how good it is, because it's lasted me that long. I find felt tip liners just so much easier to use. So, so much easier to use. And this one is really nice, really basic, really simple. If you are like not an eyeliner expert, it is, just makes life so much easier. Again, it's really cheap. I love Collection. It's probably my favourite brand. Collection and Revolution. I'm probably going to like show you what I do and then speed past to buy eyeliner already being done because it's a nightmare doing eyeliner. I used to do it every day. And when I did it every day, I was okay at it. But because I don't do it every day anymore, I have a nightmare with it every time. So I simply take my time and draw in a little line across. Wow. Wow, I'm glad I got that on camera. Wow. Let's leave that in. Okay, I'm going to leave it at that. I'm aware it is not perfect, but I just don't want to take loads of time with this video. Um, wow, how have I got it all over my thumb? I need a wink at work. Um, I do eyeliner after eyeshadow because otherwise it gets covered in eyeshadow and you just can't see it. It doesn't give the nice black definition that you kind of hope for. I'm aware that I've just wiped my face with a makeup wipe but I had a black mark and it was annoying me. Um, again, I'm aware it is not perfect but for the sakes of the video I just want to move on to the next thing. I've moved you over because I'm not sure about the lighting. I think it's gone a bit weird, but we'll go with it. I look a little bit washed out, so sorry. Um, I'm going to go on to bronzer next. Bronzer was something that I didn't actually know whether it would suit me or not. Where I'm so pale, and obviously I've got my ginger hair, I thought bronzer would just kind of make me look a bit... I don't know. I just didn't think it would look right on me. But I love using bronzer. Um, also, I may be applying bronzer completely wrong, but I like the way it looks on me, so that is the way I do it. Um, I would usually use, I'm gonna cough, I would usually use this, which is a YSL bronzer, which was given to me by a friend who didn't use it anymore. But for the sake of this video, cause that is stupid expensive, I'm gonna use my Salik palette, which again was a present. So I'm not sure whether it is in the budget range of like makeup, but I'm pretty sure it is. I'll have a look online and leave a price. My friends won't mind. Um, this is the bronzing blusher and highlight palette, as you can see. I used the highlight quite a lot before. I'm actually going to be a rebel and use my finger for this purely because it's got this kind of cream substance. Substance? Is that the right word? I don't know, but it's, it's like creamy, so it's just easier to kind of apply with my finger and then blend it out with a brush. I'm going to leave it like that um, and this is going to look really cool. I don't know if this is the right brush for bronzer or whatnot, but again, it's just from my little unicorn range. All of my brushes, most of them, have been brought in like a big collection of brushes and I just use whatever I want for whatever I want. And I don't know what one's supposed to be used for what. I'm doing this in the camera and I don't feel like I'm doing it very well. Let's get the mirror. Uh, and again, this is something that I have to blend like 5,000 times to make sure it's not just a brown patch on my face. Okay, we're gonna go with that. I feel like whenever I do eyeliner, I feel like I've got black marks everywhere, like all over my face. But anyway, yeah, very simple little bronzer chick. Chick? Trick. Just to kind of like bronze my cheekbones and add that bit of definition to my face. And then, Gonna go on to highlight. I'm using the Revolution Sof X highlighter palette, which is at the higher end of my budget, but I was persuaded to buy it and I do really like it. Um it is the I've just told you what it is. I'll leave the name and like price below. Um it's really nice, it's got some gorgeous colours in there. I'm gonna use the purple one because the purple one was the one that like made me want to buy it. Um I'm just gonna swish my finger in there. Again, I use my finger, I don't use a brush for highlight. I use a brush to kind of like 
blend it out a little bit but just go across the top of literally the, the top of my cheekbone here where the light naturally falls just to give it that extra bit of glow and as you can see it is amazing I've blended it out a little bit so it's not as in your face but obviously if you wanted an in your face highlighter you could just girl it is gorgeous okay one of the last things I do if I'm doing a full face of makeup is my eyebrows because I've got something in my eye that's not the reason I just have anyway um because if I do it at the start like you've just not got any definition there then so I use it at the end after I've done the foundation and everything else so that the definition is still there um, I actually usually use another Wilco's angled brush and I'll sometimes use a darker shade of eyeshadow just to give it a bit of definition but I brought this recently I realize I haven't named it yet it's the Makeup Academy MUA Brow Define Tinted Brow Mascara. Now this looks really dodgy when you first put it on, but then when it kind of like dries, it looks really nice. And it's just really natural. Um, so like a normal day, it is really nice to use. As I say, if like a day out, a day out, a night out or maybe a party, I might put a little bit of eyeshadow on as well like or eyebrow stuff on over the top as well just to make it a bit darker but um for every day this is so simple so natural and so nice wow i don't know what's gone on here let's even that up shall we there we go it doesn't quite look even but i think it's the lighting which doesn't help because the sun's decided to come out again. I'm now gonna do my eyelashes. I do use an eyelash curler. Just pinch those bad boys up. I got this in the Birmingham market, the rag market. If you live in Birmingham, you'll know where I'm talking about. Um, for like a pound, so I'm happy with that. You can usually find eyelash curlers quite cheap. This does say Lizelle on it. Whether it is a Lizelle product, I don't know. But it cost me like a pound fifty, so I'm not complaining. Um, I looked in Boots, and the eyelash curler that I saw in Boots was something like eight pound, and I was like, "Are you joking me? It's an eyelash curler." I then use the Collection Fat Super Size Fat Lash Mascara. This is the first like non-waterproof mascara I've brought. For some reason, I always just thought waterproof was better. But it's not it's clumpy it's really hard to get off um so i do like i really like using this i tend to stick with collection mascaras they just do a nice range and they're really cheap and they're pretty damn good i think they're completely and utterly worth it because i looked at other mascaras and they're like £10 for a mascara and I'm just not about paying £10 for a mascara this has like a nice it just gives a nice effect on your lashes it gives that fat lash effect which I love sorry I'm trying to concentrate I'm doing my mascara which is why I'm talking rubbish okay I've already put the lipstick on but I waffled a lot in the last segment so I'm just gonna gonna re re say what I just said um I have quite a few different lip creams that I use from different brands um because I love the matte lipsticks the matte liquid liquid wow why can't I talk liquid lipsticks um but they do tend to kind of go a little bit dry and crack um I still prefer them kind of over lip lipsticks purely because they stay on for longer um, but the best ones I've found, this one's NYX, this one is MUA, this one's Body Shop, and this one's Body Shop, is the Body Shop one, which is the one I'm currently wearing in Cypress Begonia. Um, I'll leave like the price below, it's about £6 I think for these, but I tend to get them at like, Body Shop parties where you get a certain amount off. Um, so yeah, like they are a kind of slightly more expensive product 
in terms of all the other stuff like in comparison to the other stuff I've used but out of all the ones I've tried the body shop ones are my favorite by far and that's including these like MUA ones and even the NYX one so yeah okay this is the final look um I've filmed this segment like three times now because I keep jumbling over my words um I would recommend all of the products that I've used in my video I'm going to link them all below well like write them all below in the description box so that you can see what I have used even though I've wrote them on the video as I've gone along um, just because for anyone who's looking for budget makeup who doesn't want to spend like £10 on one item um, this stuff's good it is really good and as you can see it kind of gives a nice basic makeup look that's not ridiculously hard to achieve so yeah thank you for watching Please click subscribe for some more something new videos um, and I've got plenty more videos planned for the upcoming months. And um, ba -da -ba -bum, click like, comment, do what you want. All my social media is linked below. Yeah. Bye. Side note, I know this video was very jumpy, waffly and a bit all over the place. It was simply because I was just a bit nervous about filming it. I was a bit nervous about showing people my basic makeup routine because I'm aware that I don't necessarily use the right products and do the right things with my makeup. So yeah, but I hope you enjoyed it anyway. Thanks.